kinetics study on the reaction between potassium iodate and sodium sulfide. The rate of a chemical reaction may depend on the concentration of one or more reactants. The effect of concentration of the reactant on the rate of a chemical reaction can be studied by the reaction between potassium iodate and sodium sulphite in the presence of starch indicator at room temperature and pressure. In the first step, sulphite ions react with potassium iodate producing iodide ions. In the second step, Iodide ions formed are oxidized to iodine by reaction with more iodate ions. In the third step, iodine formed in the second step reacts immediately with sulphite ions, forming iodide ions. When sulphite ions are completely consumed, the liberated iodine reacts with starch solution, giving a blue color. Our aim here is to study the reaction rate of the reaction between potassium iodate and sodium sulphite using starch solution as indicator. Materials required 0.01 molar potassium iodate solution 0.005 molar sodium sulphite solution 1 molar sulfuric acid Freshly prepared starch solution for 250 milliliters conical flasks, measuring cylinders and stopwatch. Procedure Take four 250 milliliters conical flasks labeled as A, B, C and D. Measure 2 milliliters of 0.01 molar potassium iodate solution in a measuring cylinder and transfer it into flask A. Then add 4 ml of potassium iodate solution to flask B, 6 ml to flask C and 8 ml to flask D using the measuring cylinder. Using another measuring cylinder, add 10 ml of 1 molar sulfuric acid to the flasks A, B, C and D. Now, using a measuring cylinder, add 88 ml of distilled water to flask A, 86 ml to flask B, 84 ml to flask C and 82 ml to flask D to make the volume of solution 100 ml in each flask. Add 5 ml of starch solution to the flasks A, B, C and D using a measuring cylinder. Now. Measure 10 ml of 0.005 molar sodium sulphide solution in a measuring cylinder and pour it into flask A and start the stopwatch immediately. Stop the stopwatch when the blue color just appears and note down the time required for the appearance of blue color. Repeat the experiment by adding 10 ml of 0.005 molar sodium sulphide solution to flasks B, C and D and note the time required in each case for the blue colour just appears. Record the observations in a tabular column. Plot a graph between 1 by volume of potassium iodate along the ordinate and time for the appearance of blue color along the abscissa. The graph should be a straight sloping line. From the graph it is clear that the rate of reaction between potassium iodate and sodium sulphide increases with increase in concentration of potassium iodate. Precautions Always use freshly prepared sodium sulphide solution because it is easily oxidized by air. Concentration of potassium iodate should be higher than that of sodium sulphide solution. Use a freshly prepared start solution.